This meeting is being recorded. Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by Charlie Anderson of All of That Basketball and Baseball. How's it going, bud? Good. How are you? I forgot you played football, too. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, just overall, how was this basketball season for you? Uh, I mean, it, it was it was enjoyable. Uh, you know, we played really good at the beginning and, you know, the middle of the season. And, you know, we won another conference championship. But obviously, postseason fell short, really short of our goals, to be honest. But I'm not going to let that uh, ruin the season I had as far as like a senior year with all my friends. So, um, you know, it was enjoyable. Really wish we would have uh, figured out in the postseason. But you can't change what happened. Yeah. Overall, just, uh, you know, talk about you've been playing basketball for basically you've been playing a lot of sports for your entire life. Um, but what is just, um, you know, this high school basketball thing meant to you? Uh, I mean, so like when I was younger, uh, like I had a choice. Uh, I was playing hockey for a little bit, which, you know, I'm a big hockey guy. Like I like watching it, but I chose like the path of three sports. And I've done that since I think like fifth, fourth or fifth grade. And as far as basketball goes, like, you know, growing up a little kid in Olivet, like I went to most of the games. I was like I was a water boy for the girls varsity team for a little bit. So, like, I was around a lot of like high school sports and I just always dreamed of playing on that stage. And like that was my goal as a little kid. And like as I grew up, like I wanted to play college basketball and like it just kind of all came together. And I don't know, I really enjoyed playing for Olivet. Uh, the community does a good job of uh, supporting us and like staying involved. Like you go out, you go out to get food somewhere and people will be talking to you about the game or like the last game and everyone's just really up to date. And especially nowadays, like Twitter and everything, uh, our coach did a great job of uh, like putting us out there and like everyone knew what was going on. So it was really fun just to be a part of that and like, you know, be successful like like we were for a while. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, of course, the news yesterday that was uh... – of course, Olivet will have a new boys basketball coach next year. Of course, uh, of course, Matt Seidel was also the AD uh, of Olivet. Um, uh, announced that he would uh, be stepping down. Of course, he was going to only do this for one year, and then one turned into three. And then, uh, what was it like to be part of uh, uh, so-called his last team, uh, unless he comes back again? Uh yeah. I mean, I kind of figured that. Like he wasn't saying it, but like I, I could just kind of tell. Um, and a lot of people had kind of brought it up, but I mean, it was fun. Like, like you said, it was just supposed to be a one year thing, but like he enjoyed being around us. We enjoyed having him and it just, it worked out. Like, obviously, I think definitely we could have done some big things as far as like going far in the playoffs, but I don't think for him or for us, like it takes away for what we built as far as like relationships go. And I know like personally, I can, he's a guy I can call up anytime. Like I need advice, especially like when I get to college. I'm sure he'll come and support me and Braden and anyone else that goes and plays sports. Like he's going to be there for us, even though he's not technically the coach at Olivet anymore. And he'll still be there for guys like Bryce and Luke. I think, you know, taken away, I learned a lot from him and I, I thank him for uh, stepping up for when he did. Yeah. So speaking of college, where are you going to go? Uh, I'm going to Aquinas college in Grand Rapids for, and going to play basketball and baseball. So yeah, basketball and baseball, playing two sports. What, how, I mean, it's uh, like you, you're playing multiple sports as your thing. Um, uh, what's it like to, uh, you know, play basketball and play uh, baseball as well, and continue your basketball and baseball career as well? I mean, it's exciting, you know, like honestly, last year I thought it would just be basketball and it was, I was going to have to work for that. But like, as it picked up and I, and I found a spot on the baseball team too, like, it's just really exciting for me because obviously I played three sports my whole high school career and I, like, I figured it out. I have confidence. Like I enjoy playing both. Like I can figure it out. Once I get there, I just have to, you know, have time for schoolwork and also try to be successful in uh, on the court and on the field. And we'll see how it goes. Maybe after a couple of years, I changed my mind, but I'm really excited for it. Um. I know you're continuing your basketball and baseball career. I don't think I've had a chance to ask you this yet, but um, was it tough saying goodbye to football, even though that, that another sport that's meant a lot to you and that's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I kind of like my dream was never to play college football. Like 
don't get me wrong, I, I love football, but it's it's definitely probably third on the totem pole as far as like my interest and in stuff goes. During that season and during the summer when football stuff was going, I was I was putting in time and making sure I was going to be successful this year. But it was definitely tough. But uh, it's it's honestly a chapter like I'm not sad about it. I'm just happy that it happened. If you know what I mean. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, well yeah, it's just been there. But also, let's uh, let's reminisce a little bit. Um, favorite moment from this season. From this um, I would have to go – oh, basketball. I'd have to go uh, beating Onstead in the Spring Arbor Classic uh, against a great player in Aiden Davis. Like, that was that was really exciting for me. And I had a good game too, so that was nice. Um, and best moment from your basketball career as a whole? Oh, uh, that's a tough one. Um, I would say, um, for me personally, uh, last year – I hit five threes in one quarter. That was that was a pretty all time high in my career. Like that felt that felt pretty good. All right. And what are you gonna miss most about high school basketball? Um, I would say just like playing with the playing with the kids I grew up with, playing with the wines who I played so much basketball with as far as like the summer and everything. It's a little different, like you're starting all over basically. Like I've I built a lot of great relationships here at Olivet. And as much as I'm excited to like start over at Aquinas, it's it's definitely sad that I have to like kind of let go and not be there for everyone else like I have been for a while. All right. Well, Charlie, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us and best of luck uh, this baseball season. Yes, thank you for having me.